In this video, we're going to be creating our own completely custom Windows 10 boot logo. Let's get started. I'm days. Look at these eyes. So first things first, if you missed it in the title, this method only works for ASUS branded motherboards. So if you have an MSI motherboard, a Gigabyte motherboard, or a laptop or something like that, then chances are this will not work for you. So I'll save you some time. Make sure you check that you have an ASUS motherboard. Once you have confirmed that, the very first step we're going to do is we're going to go to the little search bar down here. We're going to type in system restore. And it should come up with recovery or create a restore point. We're going to do create a restore point. Create. I'm going to call this boot logo. And this is just in case anything goes wrong or if you want to come back to this and undo the stuff that we install later. As you can see, that finishes pretty quickly within maybe five seconds. I'm going to close out of that now. So now what we want to do is we're going to open up Google and we're going to look up our motherboard model. So if you don't know what this is, it's normally written in text on the actual motherboard itself. It's also on the box. And if you use uh, programs online, you can also detect it from within Windows. But I happen to know that mine is an ASUS Crosshair 8 Hero Wi-Fi. So I'm just going to type that into Google. I'm going to go down until I see the uh, ASUS website link right there. Click on that. That should pull up my motherboard page in a second. Yep, here we go. This is definitely this, this is definitely my motherboard. I'm going to go over to the support tab. I'm going to go down to driver and tools. We're going to hit BIOS and firmware, and we're going to download the latest BIOS first of all. So I don't want to use the beta versions just because. Just I'm going to use the latest official version, which would be this one here, 2020-1207. So I'm going to download that. That will start downloading. And now we're going to go to the driver and tools section. Once you're in here, you're going to go to Windows 10. That should load. Yep, there we go. We go down. We want to look for something called AI Suite. So I think this is it right here, ASUS AI Suite. We're going to go ahead and download that. And that will create a zip folder in your downloads. All right, so once it's downloaded here, we're just going to go show and folder. We're going to extract both these folders using 7-zip. So if you don't have 7-zip, go ahead and grab that before you do this. And that will create the folder right here. As you can see, let's do it for the other one as well. Extract files. Just put it there. Yep, that's fine. Close. Now we have two folders. We can delete these two zip files. And here we are. So the first thing we're going to do is go into AI Suite. And we're going to run the setup.exe down here. Let's hit yes. We can also close out of Chrome right there. Once this launches, it should be, here it is. So we can close out of this. What we want to install here is easy update and that's it. We don't need any of the other things. So it's going to check easy update and then hit install. Yeah, that's all fine. As you can see, it says installation is completed. I'm going to hit OK. It wants me to reboot. You don't have to do that. So I'm not going to do that. What I am going to do is I'm going to go into my start menu and I'm going to click on the new AI suite icon that was just added right there. Hit yes. And this should launch straight up. There we go. If it doesn't show up, just click on the icon down here. So we're going to go to easy update right here. And now it's going to say manually update boot logo or BIOS. So what we need to do is click this little option right here. Go into our downloads folder. Find the BIOS file you downloaded. Double click on that. It should check it. And then once it's checked it, these icons will light up. As you can see, this one says the model of the BIOS image doesn't match the BIOS from currently present. Sometimes it'll say that. What you want to do if it does say that is just go ahead and restart. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And now when we click on the same BIOS file, it should say it's OK. Let's see what it says. Yep. So now, as you can see, we do have a selected BIOS showing up here and we have the two options to update and choose my logo. So obviously we don't have a logo yet, so that's what we need to fix. What you're going to need to do to create a basic logo is we're going to open up paint in the start menu. We're going to go to file properties or we're going to make the size 640 by 480. OK, that will change the size of it. Uh, I just suggest making the background completely black like that. And then I would add some basic text at the bottom down here saying computer name. Make sure it's in in white, of course. And then you can do whatever you want with it, move it around, add a big image in the middle right there, and then you'll be good. So once you've done making the image, you want to go File, Save As, and you're going to call it 
something basic, like just one word. Don't put any weird symbols in it. We're going to save it as a 24-bit bitmap and put it on like the root of your hard drive. So like your Windows drive, just pop it like right there. Uh, save. Yes. It won't let you actually from, from Paint, but we can move it there later. So once you've got a file, these are, these are two files I've prepared earlier. I have one for my gaming PC and one for my streaming PC. These are both 640 by 480, same specs as that other image. What you want to do is you just want to hit my logo right here. We're going to select the logo that we're going to use. I'm going to be using the gaming PC one because this is my gaming PC. And then we're just going to hit update and that will go through and update everything for us. So let's see what happens. All right, as you can see, it's saying BIOS update may take three to five minutes. Do not shut down slash reset the system or run any applications to prevent boot up failure. The system requires a restart for the BIOS to take effect. So now you can see down here it says flash. We're going to go ahead and hit flash and just make sure that you don't unplug your computer or mess with it for the next five minutes because that's just, yeah, just leave it alone. Let it do its thing. Update BIOS, hit OK. System requires a restart. We're going to hit OK. OK, so before I got to this screen, I was on a black screen for about a minute. It was completely blank. That is totally normal. Just let it go through. Once it gets to this screen, you're basically set. It's going to go through and process the update. And then once it's done, it will restart and send you back into the BIOS. So let's just give it a moment here. All right, so now you're going to get this message. If it's stuck at the end processing, just give it another minute. It'll, it'll go through, trust me. Once you get that message, it will take about five seconds and then it will shut down and then come back on about a minute later. So let's just wait for it. Now, as you can see, there is our custom BIOS logo. So now as it's booting up, it's going to complain about a few different things because your BIOS settings will be reset. As you can see here, it says CPU fan error. Press enter setup to recover BIOS settings. So press F1 now. If you're using a wireless keyboard, that might not work for you. So you're going to want to make sure you have a wired keyboard plugged in. If that screen doesn't let you go through, just turn off your PC, turn it back on, then hit F1. Once you're in here, you just want to set back your settings to what they were before. I'm going to turn on virtualization on my CPU right here. I'm going to turn off the RGB when my computer is off because I'd like to sleep without being blinded by RGB. And I just set all of these sensors to ignore because there's nothing connected to them. I use a all-in-one water cooler, so I don't need any of that on. Also turn these ones off because there's nothing connected to these either. Yeah, that's about all I would change for my particular BIOS here. Once you're done, you just go exit, hit save changes and reset. That will apply all the changes you specified. These are all my ones if you want to copy them. Chances are yours are going to be probably a bit different in terms of the options available. So just hit OK. And then once we reset, everything should be back to normal with the custom boot logo. There we go. There's our custom logo looking quite nice. You can see what I mean, how you'd want a big logo in the middle, maybe some things on the side that's up to you, and then you have some text on the bottom. Looks quite nice, I think, especially when Windows is loading. So once you're back into Windows, you may notice these two little icons down here from AI Suite and Easy Update. Now, this is completely optional, but I like to remove these when I'm done. So to do that, you go back to create a restore point. But this time we're going to go into System Restore, hit Next, and we're going to restore back to our boot logo restore point. And that should uninstall these two programs. But of course, this may take a while to go through. So you're going to want to dedicate a couple of minutes, maybe even up to an hour to restore your system back before these are installed. And that will keep your boot logo changed. It won't affect anything we've done in the BIOS. It will just get rid of those two programs from Windows. All right, so once that's completed, you'll see this message. Just hit close. And then as you can see, these two software is now gone from both down here and from your programs. And if we check our downloads folder now, we can go ahead and delete these two files we downloaded because we no longer need them. And that's it. You've changed your boot logo. So that's going to be the end of this video now. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully I helped you out. Please consider liking and subscribing, maybe joining my Discord or checking me out on Twitch. And yeah, hope you have a good day and I hope to see you in the next YouTube video. Goodbye.